What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rajat. Welcome back to my channel VFX World. Thank you so much for showing love on our very first season of Element 3D All the Classes and that's why I am here with season 2 episode number 1 where I will show you today this amazing creation process inside of Element 3D. So without wasting any more further time, let's get started. <laughs> First time in this video, we'll be using Cinema 4D. So guys, firstly, let's jump into Cinema 4D. Okay, so right now we are in Cinema 4D and guys, trust me, the way which I am showing you today, it's very, very simple. So first of all, this is a Cinema 4D interface. Those who guys know about this, they know about very clearly. So first of all, you have to go here. This is like a polygon tools and all, where just click and hold, you can find this many assets and we need a very favorable things. So first of all, I need this plane here, just click here. So it will come here like this, just like a normal 3D software. Now go to this display and from here, just turn on this constant shading so that you can see all the lines here clearly. Okay, so for the very first time, I need to increase the width to let's take around 500 by 500. So it's become something like that. And now I'm increasing the width segment to 20 to 1000 by 1000. So it's very dense here. If you notice, it's very dense. So this is the very first step which you have to do. Now after that, we'll adding a modifier here. So just go here, just click and hold. You can find this displace here, just click here. So this is a layer panel of Cinema 4D where this is a displacement on and this is a plain one. So select this and drag and drop under this plain option. So right now, this is become a parent child. Okay, now select this displace and now we need to add JS displacement here. So just go to this shader option, go to this shader, click here, then you can find this displace. Now guys, those who guys don't check out our last video based on this JS displacement, link is in i button and also in the description box below, go and check out that video is amazing so first of all select this one and just press no whenever you click here it will automatically see it's coming here just go to display and click this ground shading now you can exactly see how it's look like and guys this texture link is in description box below go and download and don't forget to tag me on my instagram instagram id you can see on the screen right now okay so as you can see this is a very good uh, quality of a displaced option here it's noticed okay now we have to increase it a little bit so go to this object and from height increase it to 20 okay this is very much good enough now we have to duplicate the plain one just to select this control c and then control v and now select this displace one again and go to shading and from here we have to change our shading to a next level one so just select this one this is a bit different just press no then it will take some time to update let me turn off this one so that you can see so let's decrease the size here just click this displace go to this object and decrease the height to 10 like normal okay so these are the things now you have to turn on this one now you have to export both in obj because we are not doing anything inside of cinema 4d right now we are doing whatever we'll do inside of after effects just select this and go to file and then export and go down you can find this wave font obj just click here and you can find the browser here and rename it and then just press simply save that's it now guys we have to jump into after effects so guys right now we're in after effects and before that i am just done a layer and i added element 3d effect on this layer so let's jump into element 3d scene setup now inside of scene setup what you have to do just click to import button and then you can find that inside of your browser where you save this so these are the two my main things so just click this untitled one and make sure you have to turn on this use auto normals and then just simply press ok ok i imported both the obj's so this is our very first one and this is our the second one which is looks something like that now we have to go to the second one and click the normalized size so that it will become a normalized size and go down and you can find this optimized mesh now if you notice these vertices are very high so when you click this it will optimize and it will decrease the vertices okay so right now both the layers in exactly same place now you have to add the material so we are using very simple materials so go to preset go to physical just click and drag the black one to the one and let's select that second one and we are adding the gold one to the second one okay so now it will look something like that now don't need to add so much here so just decrease the height 
to something down let's make it to okay this one is good enough now click the zero one and select the black gloss and then you are decreasing the glossiness to make it a little more glossy and increase the intensity to five of the reflections now we are adding a light strips here so first of all go to create and add this one the cylinder and go to the radius and 0.001 one so it will become a very light radius something like that if you want to increase let's make it to zero zero three so it will become something like that okay so now just rotate this in this directions and make it to the top and make sure it should be something here okay this is fine and now we are just press w and make it to copy once copy two and just become like this and then copy third okay that's it now select all the cylinders and drag and drop into a new group okay so now we have to do several settings here but before that we have to make sure that these objects are exactly on same alignment or not so now what you have to do press ok for the very first time now right click new and then a camera and we are adding a 35 millimeter camera just press ok now click here and make sure this should be look like this just zoom in it a little bit okay so this is our basic composition now go to element 3d again Go to group one and from here go to this particle replicator now from point let's make it to 3d grid and now decrease it from three to like normal one and this is also normal one and this one should be two because we are extruding this one now just make sure you have to increase the shape scale to let's take around 50 percent and then increase the z scale to make to match it something like that let's make it to point uh, 60 yeah this is fine okay so this is our basic composition is right now looks something like this and it looks so amazing okay so now we have to adding so many other things here so first of all when you go down to this particle look where you can find these many options and you can find this deformer just click this deformer and where you can find this bend option just turn it on and then you have to bend this angles something like that so we are adding it to minus 180 degree so it will become like this okay it looks so amazing i know now we have to make another one for the top part then it will become a very good circle so now first of all go back to our scene setup and we have to done so many other things here so right now we are in scene setup and let's add some materials on this group folders so just go to this physical and double click here so right now you can see these materials are added so now let's go to any one of this and go to slight and this change the color to be a little more reddish kind of thing that's it that's it just normal it okay now you have to make sure just duplicate it in here and also here something like that okay so now make sure you have to make it in group one and group two just select this and press shift and one Two. so right now the same thing is in group one and same thing is in group two as well okay so right now we have to make another part for the circle closer part so first of all go to this motion design and then you can find these many options but go to this tech components go down here where you can find these many options so let's select this one and then just make it close and just drag and drop out of here something like that so right now it's become completely out and make it to only group three so this will become our group three now rotate this something like that and we have to add one more thing here just click this one and same thing we have to add like this now take another group and name it to like circle and just add these two under this circle group that's it and make it to group three and select this one and just rotate this to here and make sure this should be looks something like that okay so this will be our close lead okay so now if you want to change any colors here you can do this but i'm just leaving it like this okay so right now everything is going so much goody good and then just press okay so right now you can see all the things are exactly here so just press ctrl s for save and now we are just closing the group one and go to this copy just press copy here now go to this group two first of all just go to group three and turn off this group three and go to this copy paste and just simply paste it so right now group one and group two settings are exactly same now we have to go to this rotation we have to rotate this in z axis so first of all make it to 180 degrees so it will become something like that and then we have to change our positions 
to let's make it to the top something like that so just zooming here so that you can exactly see that all the positions are exactly same or not and yep this is done so right now it looks something like that and it's look really amazing now you have to make sure you have to match the lead here so first of all you have to just turn it off go to group 3 and turn it on so this is our group 3 now go to this particular replicator and from this active camera change it to font view like uh, for the very first time and then you have to just match the positions here so just make it to center here now the make sure you have to do our very good camera animations and also uh, environment so now you have to go back to our scene setup again for the environment settings and here if you go to this preset environment and you can find this superior jpegs and all so just select any of this of your preferable one and then make sure you have to for this i'm using this one go to this environment and i'm just increasing the bright a bit and then we have to go to this group folder when 01 and the reflection one should be mirror surface so that you can exactly see the light reflections and select the 02 and same mirror surface so now we have to go back to ok so right now it's looking something like that and now we have to do some render settings so first of all go to render settings and here you can find these many options ambient occlusions select this and increase it to make it something like that and now right click new and new light for this and i'm using parallel light color should be something bluish and make it to here let's make it to a little bit of yellow something like that and just press ok and press ok from here as well so this light we have to adjust it so the light should be from front something like that and then now it's completely up to you have to play with all the light setups and all and then select the element 3d and you have to go here and lightning and from here change it to 360 lights you can find this kind of lights here if you change it to light settings but you can use many other lights like product mode you can use it like like basic normal light but in this case i'm using 360 only and go to this additional lights i'm increasing the brightness a bit something like that just a bit okay and then go to this physical environment go to the rotation environment and just rotate environment to see how exactly it look like if i'll rotate the environment a bit something like that okay very good very good renders okay so now i'm changing the tint color of this to make it to match it here something like this yup this is done now let's change the camera positions to be a little more precise and yes right now the camera are exactly right place okay so now we have to make our depth so Control d to for duplicate and rename it to depth fog something like that select this go down 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 from output channel let's change from composite change it to world positions so this will become our fog depth and select this just invert it first of all from here so this is the inverted part so white areas will be visible and black areas will be completely eliminate so first of all increase the maximum feather of the mat something like that and then the mat extractions should be here like this and then that's it okay fine and then we have to make it to normal to add okay now just turn off this element 3d and from here i'm adding tint just drag and drop here and change the colors of this to something yellow you can change it to any other colors because i'm using this colors in red so that's why i'm adding this red kind of thing now if you notice these many blacks are exactly visible so for fix this right click new solid and name it to bg and change the color to exactly same like this make it okay and make it down so exactly right now everything is going back okay uh, right now we have to add so many other steps to fix this depth here right now the depth is looking good but not like the real one so we have to adjust a depth to make sure we have to increase the feathers and mat extension a little more down and thus its smoothness a little bit high and yep that's it go to tint here and let's select the red one a little bit yup right now it's looking so much amazing and right now we have to select element 3d Control d again move it to up and make it to elimination select this down element 3d and we have to go to the output from normal composite to make it to elimination yup so these are the parts will be eliminate so select this and i'm adding glow double click so the glow is here if you notice it looks super okay so now down the thresholds and now increase the radius and also the glow intensity and also decrease the thresholds a little bit and increase the glow radius intensity also 
and yup from normal make it to add okay so it looks something like that little bit down little bit down okay and now right click new adjustment layer make it to top right click color corrections and I'm using a Lumetri color corrections and from the basic one increasing the contrast like this and the temperature a little bit down and uh, after that shadow a little bit here and go to this creative one decreasing it to in blue and film faded one a little bit high something like that so guys this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this amazing creation process by using cinema 4d and also after effects for the very first time in the element 3d season 2 episode 1 and if you really love our all the episodes then don't forget to share like comments and make sure you have to follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below see you next time with some more amazing content with element 3d and many more other tutorials till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching be a picture. Oh, 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 oh,